Hi guys, Raj here. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my ice bath video. This video is about 10 or 12 minutes long, um, so it will be quite um, elaborate and comprehensive in covering everything. I have been doing ice bath from last two and a half years now, and uh, I'm going to take you step by step as to what my method is. And also, more importantly, for anyone out there who wants to know how to do ice bath, if you're a beginner, uh, I'll go through some of the things that are very, very important. And more importantly, uh, something uh, which could be a pitfall, some mistakes that I did, which uh, perhaps if you won't do, then you'll you'll do better than what I've done. So first of all, this, is, uh, this video is for entertainment and information purposes only. Ice bath is not something which is very easy to do, so uh, just do it, uh, you know, as per how you go. Um, I have learned this method from uh, watching YouTube videos of the great man himself, Wim Hof. He's uh, he's quite he's my guru in in that regard. Uh, he has mastered this technology from last 30, 30, 40 years, and uh, I have a lot of uh, gratitude towards him uh, I have learned a lot through him and his story itself is quite remarkable what he has done so I just want to uh, say great thank you to him first so you always start uh, ice bath with Wim Hof breathing method uh, you can google Wim Hof breathing method and it will come up it is very simple breathing method where you inhale and exhale a little more rapidly than normal you do that 30 times roughly you i think maximum you can go 40 times and then uh, what you do is you completely exhale at the 30th or 40th and then you hold the breath by exhaling completely so i call it holding in emptiness you hold it for as long as possible and if you're new just make it comfortable don't push too hard and then take a big deep breath and then hold it in inhalation hold it in fullness so that's one round and like that you do two rounds you should be doing it very comfortably sitting on the chair if you want or a couch on the floor don't do it inside the water do not do it when you're in the water or in bathtub or driving or operating any machinery so this method um, is pretty much there's not much to it you can breathe from your nose or your mouth it doesn't matter you can breathe from your nose or exhale from the mouth or vice versa it's it doesn't matter uh, wim hof uh, himself has said that so on to the ice bath now one thing is very very crucial something that i i, I did and which was a big mistake was for the very first time i prepared an ice bath in my bathtub with probably four bags of ice and I stepped in and I could only last five seconds it was a big big shock and even though before that I had been doing cold showers so my first and foremost message the biggest important message is you do it very slowly and keep everything reasonable only if it is reasonable it can be sustainable if you go into a very cold water the very first day i guarantee you it's not going to work what it's going to do is shock your body which is exactly what we don't want when you go in such cold water you are traumatizing yourself and the memory of the trauma remains in your body and in your mind as well and next time you won't be looking forward to it and it's not going to last long some of you are exceptionally uh, strong will maybe but not for many people uh, prior to that I was doing cold showers for at least a year and a half so what I will suggest to you is that don't just forget about ice bath start taking cold showers uh, chances are that you guys are already having warm showers more cold or hot showers most of your life so you are not conditioned at all for cold showers I grew up and lived in India, so I was quite used to it. But even then, I had been living in Australia. I was using mostly cold showers, but every now and then warm showers. So I started from the scratch, um, which was a good thing that I did. I had 
year and a half or two years of having cold showers in the morning. But there also I had I have something uh, a caveat to tell you a very big thing that I learned. So uh, like I said, most of you will uh, be doing cold showers for the first time. I used to just do the same thing like I did in the ice bath. I used to just jump straight into the ice water um, in the cold shower with head first. So what you do is you turn the cold shower on and you just let your feet, the right, the bottom of your feet in the water first, left or right first, whichever. And then you slowly make the water go up to the upper leg, then to your hands, then to your belly, then turn around to your lower back. So slowly introduce your body to the cold water. Once again, same principle, you cannot shock your body, cannot shock your mind. We are creatures of comfort. We like to be in warm, cozy environment and cold water is the furthest thing that we want. For you to introduce yourself to it, you have to do it slowly, gently and gracefully. So I would suggest do this type of shower for six months. And then, uh, or you can take even further if you have been only having hot showers all your life, have hot shower then change the water to cold or lukewarm and do it for a few, few months before you actually start doing cold showers. I think it's called contrast contrast showering. So after that, um, you know, you do your cold showers and then when you're ready, you just put one bag of ice, which is five kgs, and make sure that you enter the water very slowly, very gently and very gracefully. Once again, we don't want to jump into the water and shock the entire body and uh, wake up that reptilian brain the brain that always knows to just defend and and and, and just you can't be like that you have to be very conscious gentle and graceful entering the water slowly you may have seen me getting into the water where i uh, fold my hands three times it is something that I've learned from India, uh, paying my respect and reverence to the water. After all, water is a very one of the four elements of life and we are also made of water. So you just have to make friends with water, whether it is cold or whichever it is. So yeah, just enter very slowly. Your body has to think like, oh, we're going into a river or something, a pond, slowly dipping into it. And I would suggest not dipping completely like I am doing my head in water in the beginning take your time and then um, maybe once a week or twice a week should be good enough I, I do it once a week or sometimes once in 10 days uh, there has been time when I've done eight ice bath every day depending on what I'm doing um, and uh, sometimes I do it before my workout sometimes after my workout so just take it slow and take it easy and uh, don't shock your system do your Wim Hof breathing method properly. Perhaps just start with breathing method for a few months. Just do that and don't worry about any of uh, the ice bath. I tell you, when you do Wim Hof method, it is amazing. It just, it's just something totally different. It, it'll prepare you for, for ice bath quite well. So perhaps just start with that, reap its benefits, know what it is, have experience, and slowly go into sh cold showers, hot showers, cold showers, contrast, then cold showers only for a few months. Then ice bath with just one ice bag, then with two. And also uh, the time, uh, I, I only stay in the water for no more than 10 minutes, sometimes 8 minutes. I like to have water really cold than to stay longer in it. So my thing is intensity. I want the water to be really cold and to spend not so long in it. So I would suggest that you do the same, but develop your immunity or adaptation to the cold water by adding little ice each time and perhaps stay for six minutes in the beginning. And I don't, I won't suggest more than 10 minutes anyway. So see how you go. And uh, if you have any questions, you can ask me in the comments. And if you uh, like this video, please like, leave a like button, share and subscribe and uh, i will come back with more contents i also have a lifting channel it is very helpful to to lifting and then do the ice bath for recovery as well so there you go i'm paying my reference to the water and gratitude and just getting out slowly as well is very important thanks guys